story. Like, like talk to me about it because. Sindel is in. Sindel. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, we covered J2, we covered Veep. Um, let's just go right into Game of Thrones because, I mean, I don't know what to say at this point. I really don't. So, I'm going to have a sip of medicine. This is not going to be a spoiler free moment. This is going to be a come to Jesus moment because. Is my battery still with me? Yes. Are we still tracking my face? No? Alright, it's fine. I talked about this in a couple of the last vlogs. Like, the last season is a freaking hot mess. You cannot take a dedicated audience, one of the most dedicated in, in cinematic television film history, build all of this character development, stay true to, for the majority of what I understand, because I have not read the books, to R.R. Martin's plot points. And granted, he has not finished the final part of the narrative, and so D.B. Weiss and Dan Benioff, the showrunners, have basically written their own ending. We, we knew this going into the final season. We knew this. We knew this. So no, we knew. Do we know? We know. And still, for whatever reason, it's not like we, we don't have the money, but we're going to take what normally would take eight ep 10 episode seasons, 10 hours of television, we're gonna shove that into like six episodes, and, and we're gonna just cut these character arcs and, and like, and, 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 and give these wonderful people shitty endings to their story. Like, I did not pay for this. I did not pay home box office to betray me like this. Like, I, I told you my qualms and I had qualms from the minute in what, episode three? The battle for, battle for Winterfell, was that episode four? when Arya could not escape from the D-list walking dead walkers in the library. She had, Ed had to come save her, the Hound had to come save her. But yet somehow, somehow, she's able to sneak up on the Night King and his number, his number two with the long blonde hair, Becky with the good hair, like, on some fucking like aerial rope situation like some circus situation with no explanation just no explanation that is shitty writing you're cheating your audience you're cheating as, as badass as it was to see her kill him and the way that she killed him the getting access to him made no sense. No sense. Then you have Bran during this whole moment warging, okay, which we've been building up to Bran warging and becoming this three-eyed raven and here he is in all his glory and he's like, you know, telling Theon, he's like, oh, bye, I gotta go fly, fly, fly away. Uh, fly far away like Jenny, like, make me a bird. He's all fucking warging and I, I thought that was going to like be explained like where is Bran why is Bran warging like what is he doing to help everybody nope another just thing that we're just not gonna address so that happened and then you have Brienne who we know we love we have our Captain Phasma she finally finally gets Jamie's full attention okay but it's not that I don't want Brienne to get some, you know, D and her V. It betrays the greater arc of their relationship, which is that it was a romantic friendship. They did not need to consummate that relationship. Like that was so, again, and, and thank you to Sierra for like posting that article about how 
the final season really like sh just betrayed its female characters because it just took all of this development and then it was like oh we're just we're just gonna give you like easy answers like no Brienne and Jamie's relationship was so amazing and beautiful and it did not have it did not need to be reduced to a fucking sexual romantic moment it just didn't and he fucking leaves her anyway for Cersei, which we knew was gonna come. And granted, she did not give him like Julia Ormond, like in Legends of the Fall vibes. She was not like, I will wait for you, Tristan. Thank God. But she was still like having a moment because her man was leaving her. Mm mm. Mm mm. Then we get to Cersei in the finales and in the finales you know they're they're leading you to believe maybe Arya is gonna cut the bitch somebody's gonna come in and cut this bitch we have been waiting to see how this bitch is gonna get cut since 2000 when did the show start Sindel when did it start when did you have to start 2014 2014 2014 I put in 10 years, the greater part of 10 years. Uh, by that I mean like eight years. And then she's just gonna die under some fucking falling rocks with Jamie. This is what I'm getting, this is, I did not pay for this. I did not pay for this. <sighs> she did not pay for this. That character deserved better. She deserved to be cut down properly. not die under some fucking rocks let's talk about danny danny got cut down way too fast in that final episode like way too fast on top of the fact that you serve us eight years of narrative making up like she's like our bernie sanders like you know she's for the people by the people like like we are supposed to like be rooting for her and we have been and of course there were clues that she was gonna go fucking uh, full mad queen like we knew she might go full targaryen on us but like you can't do that 180 within a 10 minute uh ep episode arc after 10 years of narr you, you you can't you can't know she would not have fucking been so she would not have succumbed to victim mentality like she did and be like oh poor me Cersei mm, John doesn't want me anymore and then like she's better than that she's smarter than that she was stronger than that and they just they betrayed that character and in doing so they betrayed the audience the only great part of that moment was that Drogon came in and had his moment with his mother that was the only thing that redeemed that episode for me was that like Drogon who knew Drogon was like the greatest character on Game of Thrones like baby boy like not only is he coming in and like mourning his mother but like he is apparently the wokest of the woke and like burnt down the Iron Throne and was like down with the fucking you know I'm the proletariat like down with the bourgeoisie and this whole like he 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 outacted everybody in that episode like it's like they put all of their writing efforts into like drogon coming in I, I don't know what's going on anymore i don't know what's real and i don't know what's going on i feel like the people that watched lost that didn't like the ending because i was one of the people that did love like i loved the ending of lost and now like i feel like i'm like the, the turn has the turntables and like i'm the people that didn't like the ending of lost and like now i, I feel